Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today another video about the Samsung Neo G9 and as more and more of you are getting this monitor right now I'm getting questions um, that ask how to set it up correctly and what settings would I recommend um, as good settings for the monitor. So I thought I'll just make a little video and um, do like a little walkthrough of the monitor. I had res reset it, all settings, so it's um, like I got it nearly two weeks ago now. Well, I did not get this one, I got the, the other one. This is actually my second one because the first one had uh, that pixel problem right in the center of the screen. You can see this on my videos. All right. Well, first Yes, let's take a look at our window settings here. This is for AMD now. And first thing I would do is check here in display and turn adaptive sync on. I would recommend leaving those scaling options here off when they are not really needed as they uh, introduce a little bit of lag. Okay, this is the the settings that you want if you if you like to activate HDR, which we'll do later. Let's keep this in SDR for now. Okay, let's go to the menu. And when you get the monitor, it will have 120 Hz activated, FreeSync Premium Pro. Ah, I turned this on before, but it's actually off when you get it. When you get it, it's off. So, you might want to turn this on. When you turn this on, you no longer have the option to select the response time or the input lag. So if this is important to you, you need to leave FreeSync Premium Pro off. The black equalizer, if you put this too high, the, the display will be real black and um, maybe too too dark then. I ha had it at 15 and this is where it goes again. I do not use Infinity Core Lightning myself because I like to have the room total dark. This is important here. When you get the monitor, at least for me, brightness was 100. This might be okay if you are playing in a really bright room, but in a normal lit room, a, a bit dimmed room, maybe 50. What I like is actually 30 because I play in total darkness. And well, what I like to do is the color tone here. Um, I actually prefer this warmer and this is also better for your eyes. Blue LED color as some newer medical studies show is, is really not so good for, for the eyes. And this is, this is sad because you, def you don't have much more options right now when it comes to room lighting or whatever. So at least on the monitor I prefer warm, I even set it to warm too. And trust me, your eyes will get used to that and you will not notice it much if, if your eyes um, get used to it, but it's, it's good for them. Here I've tested a little and I must say I prefer gamma mode 2 or 3. It's a, maybe 3 has a nice contrast. What I leave alone is contrast 75. This is more than enough for me, There's, but also no need to reduce it. Sharpness, there's no, no need to do anything here. When you get the monitor, it will already be local dimming at auto. So if you use HDR, this is good. But if you use SDR, then you might want to set this to low because I I thought low is the is the better setting of the of the two. It gets darker and more contrast here. But I guess that's also some is per, personal per, preference. Whoop. And we have a VIR control. So far, I only activated this when I connected the monitor via HDMI. It was it's not really needed via DisplayPort with FreeSync. Right. What comes now is probably the most important step is to um, load a test like this ISO test here. And 
especially the defective pixel one here and really make sure that you don't have defective pixels like I had one and you better check this before the your uh, allowed return period is over and there is some newer issue that was on, on Reddit and some people asked me about that. Let me put this a little higher here. Uh, there is some, oh my god, the, you English guys called it banding. As I thought um, there were some bands running uh, visible on the screen. It's hard for me to explain. <laughs> But, uh, well, you better check this too, and you check it in every color. And I think in my blue color, you will maybe see a little bit what is meant by that. This is red, green, and now it comes. I don't know if the camera catches it. Yeah, I mean, for me, that's no problem. I, but I, I've seen it much worse, so there seems to be a little bit of lottery here too. When you when you test your your when you get your display. All right. Um, one more general tip here: if you're on AMD, you might want to visit this column here and take a look at frame rate target control. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard about the video cards that died because um, on the menu they ran with many thousand FPS and this is what killed them. What I like to do often is I I put the max FPS to my max Hertz frequency because having more FPS than your monitor has Hertz makes absolute no sense. So, well, this is a tip from me. All right. Now you will have to decide if you want the better picture or if you want HDR with 240 hertz. Well, in my honest opinion, I like this monitor with SDR and 120 hertz better. I've, I've tested several games. I will make more game videos also where I show what I mean, especially some of the older games I like. But... I mean, this is now a tutorial, so let's activate HDR and 240 hertz. First activate HDR in Windows. This is now Windows 11, but in Windows 10 it looks slightly different. And you can check if you have activated SDR with the slider here. When you move the slider and it changes, the brightness changes, then SDR is working. Um, right, in the monitor, you can also check it on, on this monitor. Here is HDR standard right now. Uh, I myself prefer HDR dynamic though. And this is here. Oh, and when you activate HDR for the first time, you will have 100 brightness again. And my recommendation to that, I'll tell you too. With HDR, I would lower brightness also to the same area that I had before, but what I would do is up the contrast. This um, helps a little bit. Darker picture with more contrast helps a little bit when uh, about the washed out issue of this monitor. Right. Did we have 240 hertz yet? No. Let's watch what happens here. Changes the, the picture again a little bit. Okay. All right. I think this is it. I've experimented with black equalizer and if you move this higher, it also helps with washed out, but it gets real dark. So I like it the way I have it right now, the best. Contrast 100. 
Okay, I guess that's that. If you have any questions, as always, post a comment or here or on Reddit. And have a great day. Hope you all enjoy the monitor. Bye bye. There's an addition. I just saw that as soon as you change to 240 hertz, you will need to activate HDR again in Windows. And this changes the display one more time. So, and then you always have to check again if it kept your settings for brightness and contrast, which it did. And, oh, I almost forgot. You better turn that local dimming back to auto. So it will activate, but it actually works with low too. All right, but that's it for now. Bye bye.